Houseboats are not a new phenomenon, but they will be a main attraction this spring and summer on Castaway Bay in Sandusky. They're so cute. Look at them. News Fans Bryn Caswell shows us a new floating development and explains how more lodging was certainly needed to keep the tourists coming back. Just like these sitting ducks, sits a weekend getaway in the works. It's just what you need and really nothing, nothing else as far as like the bells and whistles go, but it's your perfect little private oasis. Solstay is a new floating boat home destination. Owner Joel Lisa says this development is bringing glamorous camping, also known as glamping, to the Lake Erie waterfront. More options for people to stay. Everything is just normal. Everything is just traditional. There's not anything unique. Now the different thing about these floating homes is that they're mini. I'm about 5'7", and they are just about as tall as I am. This year we're going to have 10, and then the goal is to continue to keep expanding that and get somewhere around like 25 or 30 of them. The available units can fit two people, but Lisa is also building units that can fit up to four. That include kitchenettes. Prices range from $100 to $250 a night. Sitting out here, perched with the view that we have here, uh, yeah, this would be a hard, it would be hard to beat. President of Shore and Islands, Ohio, Larry Fletcher says tourism has spiked immensely since 2021 and tourists needed more lodging options. Some people like to come back year after year and go to that favorite spot and uh, other people are looking for, you know, new opportunities uh, such, such as these floating homes in a in this in this scenic area that we have here. Each boat is different in its own way. Some units are new builds with cedar wood paneled walls. It's kind of like the more retro feel, kind of like a, a cabin in its own way. But others are repurposed, like this old water police patrol boat. We've been building them all winter. So we've been okay. we've been building them, we've been buying them from places. It's been kind of like a crazy process. Most of the units have just one bed. Maybe 100 square feet, maybe 80 square feet. They're, they're probably, I think this is 8 by 12, so... I don't know, do the math on that for me. <laughs> but Lisa says that's the point. Every single unit actually has a lockbox in it. And the goal with that is actually so that you can lock your phone up and you and whoever you're with can actually just get away, unplug for a little bit. Restrooms with toilets and showers are also on site, along with a bar and hot tub for guests. Opening day is May 13th. In Castaway Bay, Bryn Caswell, News 5.